Hey YouTube guys and gals, it's me, your old buddy Magnum over here at Magnum Videos. Um, those of you who have been watching my recent videos are aware that I have been working on a new green screen setup. And uh, you can check back, there's two parts to it to show you exactly how I did it. And uh, this video, I wanted to talk to you about lighting. Now, I've spent the last day and half of last night trying to get my lights set up so that they work well with the green screen. Now, I was laboring under the false assumption that the green screen had to be lit up extremely brightly. That's not the case. Um, I have a couple of softbox uh, 500 watt photo flood uh, units that I just got. And uh, when I set those up uh, at the beginning, I put them very close to the green screen. And I mean like four or five feet away. And uh, it just basically blasted out the whole wall. Much too bright, which made the, uh, the image that I was putting behind me uh, very burned out, very grainy, and very gray. So one piece of advice, don't light your green screen excessively uh, la lighted. Uh, don't, don't over light it, basically. Uh, I currently have the, the photo floods about probably 15 to 18 feet from the green screen. And I'm using, I'm still using my old uh, $6 work lights as my key light, my fill light, and my uh, backlight. So, well, actually, that's not true. I'm not using one of those as a backlight. I've got a different backlight that came with this kit. But I wanted to mention uh, that you don't want your green screen overly illuminated. Basically, you want it slightly less illuminated than the subject of the video. So, which is me in this case. I will take the, the camera off the tripod and give you a, a tour of how this is set up. And I'll leave the lights on uh, so you can see how it's illuminated. So, stick around. Okay, here we go. I'm sure that if you've watched the other two videos, you're familiar with this shot. Uh, Let's start at the center here. Right there is my tripod where the camera usually sits. I've got some uh, masking tape X's to mark the spot in case I need to uh, move it. Over here on the left side, we have uh, one softbox with a 500 watt photo flood. Over here on the other side, about 25 feet away, we have the other one. Um, same thing. And right here, well, let's start over here on this side. Right here is, there is where the subject sits. And it, as you'll notice, I brought my, my big tall chair down here that's been in my office uh, to give me a little more height because uh, I just felt like I was scrunched down too low. Anyway, right here, not too far from the chair, is the key light. That provides most of the illumination for me. On the opposite side, we have a fill light, uh, which is about twice as far away as the uh, key light. And then, just for added measure, I've got another fill light up above. Now, back behind, there is a backlight, which is also called a hair light. Now, uh, I have spent, as I said, hours testing and moving lights around and trying to get everything exactly uh, where it was supposed to be. I, as I mentioned, I started out way too close to the green screen with my green screen illumination lights, which is the 500 watt photo floods. Now, there are a lot of different kinds of uh, lights you can use. 
um, with various temperatures. A fluorescent is a very popular one. So uh, do some checking, see what you can find, see what you like. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever you wish to do. And until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused. <laughs>